We've got another product review and it's just arrived. Welcome back to the channel and thanks for joining. Okay, so we've got a Govi product review. Again, another one. This one, oh yes. It's the Aura table lamp. Wait a second, you said. You already did. <laughs> you already did a review of the Aura table lamp, Mick. Not this one. This one's different. So this Aura table lamp works with Google Assist. It also works with Amazon. I'm not gonna say the rest of it. Okay, so did the other one. I know it did. But this one has different features. It has smart voice control. So did the last one. Yes, it did. It has light show feature. So, ooh, no, the other one didn't have that. <laughs> it is dimmable. Yes, so was the other one, I know. It has sleep aid and wake up aid. And so did the other one. It has music sync. Uh, and so did the other one. It also has finger sketch. I have no idea what finger sketch is. <laughs> I saw that for the first time. Look, it says finger sketch. I never even saw that. I don't even know what that means. But together, we will go through the roller, roller coaster of finding out. -y. We will find out. All right, so it is RGBIC. So it is RGB with um, the ability to have different parts of the lamp be different colors. A little bit like the strip lights or the rope lights that, that Govi do with the RGBIC, where you can take different parts of the same light and have different color effects going through it. So this just doesn't have a single glow in a single color. It's, do you know what, I'm rambling. All you wanna do is take a look at what's inside this box, don't you? Let's take a look. So we'll get the toolkit out. Ah, we don't need that. We don't need the toolkit. It has a little open here tab. Satisfying. Breaking a seal like that is always satisfying. So what do we get? Well, we've got the usual like it, share it, and go over user manual. You may not be needing that, although we may for this finger touch a finger draw one box and the main event empty box rabbit just kidding right. throw that box away won't, won't be needing that let's see what's in here no prizes for guessing it is. Ooh, we've got two cords in here. Ooh. And an empty box. Let's see what this one is. Okay, so that is, we've seen this before on the other Govi product. Ooh, there's no sticker on there. They usually have a sticker on to wall mount it. So that is, I believe that is like your Amazon A and Google receiver but I could be wrong. And here, I think it's just a power brick. Power brick. And there. Let's put those there. And then, let's get this out. And take a look at what we all came to see. I always take these off gently. Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> so, so you say it looks slightly different to the other Aura. We have physical buttons on top. 
whereas the other one was a soft touch control. It does have a definite different, definite different look about it. So let's cobble it together, plug it in and get it set up. So to save valuable time, let's move these things out of the way. To save valuable time, I already plugged power in. So let's get these two connected. And then the USB-C connection on the back. Ooh, there we go. We have light immediately. All right. Let's take a look at the Govi app and let's see what we can do, shall we? Okay, so within all my smart apps, I already have the uh, Govi app installed because I have other things on there. So, to add a new product, the first thing we really want to do is put Bluetooth on or make sure Bluetooth's on because it does connect easier the first time with Bluetooth on. And then we're going to click add to add a new product. Click the Bluetooth to say I'm adding it via Bluetooth connection. It's already seen the product so we can select that. I'm going to give it a new name. Here we go. Office lamp and done. Okay, now it's connecting to my Wi-Fi. And there we go. It is now connecting. It's probably going to update the software. No. Ooh. Oh, there we go. It does need to update it. Thought we got away with it then. Update the latest firmware. Always want to do that. All right. We are now up to date. So let's take a look at how this Govi Aura Lamp differs from the previous one that we reviewed. So if I go and take a look at scenes, first one that I'm going to look at is fire, for example. Okay, so now you see how fire differs you see the effects that you actually get on the whole lamp so now we can see that fire actually has different parts of the lamp lighting up in different ways to give to give that that effect uh, let's look at rainbow wow i mean look at that that's a huge difference from the 40 dollar one now this one's a little bit more money this one's $55 on Amazon, but you start to see a big difference. One of my favorite ones I like is this one. Watch this one, Snowflake. <laughs> I mean, look at that. How awesome is that? That what, I mean, what an effect. That is absolutely superb. There's a huge difference. Huge difference. Let's look at lightning. Lightning, remember, was just kind of flashing before. I mean, look at that. How wonderful is that? Reading graffiti. Let's do Rubik's Cube. <laughs> I mean, you can have no end of fun with this. Rubik's Cube's amazing. Kaleidoscope, I've an idea what that one's gonna look like. That's gonna be crazy, right? Wow, what an effect. Love it. That reminds me of like a tie-dye t-shirt. Okay, so as promised, we're gonna take a look at what the finger draw is that what we called it the finger draw is so now i'm gonna to have to do this kind of a little bit rubbishy like this but here we go so you add a new diy this is pretty cool actually finger sketch that was it finger sketch so if we scroll down you have a canvas look at that you have a grid, so what we do is we select a color. So let's pick uh, a nice, I don't know, a nice blue. And then we draw where we want that blue to be on the canvas. So I don't know if you can pick that up on there. So let's apply that. And you should be able to see on there, 
Now what it's doing, it's rotating with that setting. So let's draw a little bit more. Then let's add another color. Let's add a vibrant kind of pinky color. Put that in there. And you see what I'm doing? Add some pink to that and apply that to the lamp. And then finally, what should we go like? Uh, yeah, that looks like a good color. And then we'll draw that on the rest of it. And so we kind of, it's hard to do this with one hand, but you can see what I'm doing. And then we apply, apply that, a voila. And now, once we've applied that, we can scroll down and we can determine, does it move down? Does it twinkle those colors? So we can hit twinkle and apply. Now we can see it twinkling all the way around with those colors. We can say it moves up, apply now. It kind of scrolls up the lamp. So that is the finger sketch. How cool is that? Let me just, let me go back to my favorite one. Come on. There we go. So there you have it. <laughs> that is the Govi Aura table lamp. Um, I'll leave a, a link to the product in the description where you can get this from. Um, like I said, I paid, I think $55 on Amazon for it. Um, but it is wonderful. It is solid built. It has, it doesn't have the rubber feet on like the other Aura does, but I think that whole, it actually has a rubber ring rather than like three individual feet. So that whole solid ring, so it gets got nice grip. I, I, I think it's amazing. I think this is one of the nicest standalone kind of table lamp features I've ever seen. The fact that it can do what you're seeing right there, I think, um, sets it apart from the others. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you found it informative. Again, this is another, this is RGBIC. This is 16 million colors, I believe. Um, let me know in the comments what you thought of the video. Let me know in the comments what you think of the product. If you enjoy our videos, um, please click like and let us know, add a comment in there. If you're not subscribed and you'd like to subscribe and see some of our other videos, then we'd always appreciate that. We, I always say we are just amateurs with no fancy equipment, just making product reviews from a layman's perspective. So letting you know what we thought of it. So keep an eye out for other reviews of Govi products and other products. We always buy the products. These were not supplied to us by anybody for review. This money has come out of our own pocket. So um, it's an honest feedback review. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for joining and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.